So I'm going to show you how you can take the text from one file and have it appear in a number of other Microsoft Word documents. The nice thing about this is that we can update those files just by updating the one source, one click on the other file, and automatically everything updates. So let's take a look at an example of what kind of document we would do this for. So we could have a number of, let's say, instructors who are going to be teaching different courses and stuff. So the course template that we currently use looks something like this, where the faculty member will put in the name, their name, their contact information, and the name of the course they're teaching. We have a bunch of program information that needs to be attached to each one of these documents. And typically, people will go and copy, paste, copy, paste. But we're going to do something even better. So notice we've got fall 2022 here. We're going to start off by going into SharePoint. The easiest way to keep this up to date and make sure that others can use it and update it is to have your files stored in SharePoint, which is a great place for it to be anyways. By just clicking on the sync button here, that will now allow this folder to appear in your file, file explorer. So there's my folder in here. Here's my course template, my program info. Now we're using a functionality called insert that can only be done through the desktop app. So I need to launch this app or this document here using the desktop app. And I can do that in two ways. I can come here to the browser. I can go into here and under the open menu, I can select desktop app or open an app, or I can do it from File Explorer. It doesn't matter which way you do it, it's still gonna be the same. So let's open this up. And here's my document. I'm just gonna open my window here a little, loud, a little wider so we can see it. So put your cursor at the bottom here. That's where I want this new content to go in. And I'm going to use the insert key, uh, key here. And over to the right, there's a menu section here called object. And when you click on the drop down arrow, we're gonna insert a text from file. When we do that, this is where it's gonna ask us where does the file live? And you wanna make sure you're using a SharePoint site and you select this item here. You can use a file anywhere. However, if it's stored on your computer, then only you can make changes and update it. If it's stored this uh, within SharePoint, then anyone who has access will be able to, to do that. So there's that program information that we were talking about before. I'm just gonna go into there and come down here and select insert as link. So what's happening is we're now being asked, you know, hey, this is a security thing. Do you give me permission to grab that stuff and bring it over here? And I'm going to say yes. So it automatically goes, grabs that data, and it's like a copy paste. Once the data is in here, I can go and make changes to it. I can uh, uh, format it differently, whatever I want. Now, let's say that I have this document here for this course, and it's a year later. So I've got 15 of these documents, let's say, or maybe 100 of them. And now I need to update this information. Well, I can go into the original document of this insert. So I'm just going to bring up File Explorer, but you can do this from the web browser as well. And there's the program info. I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to update this content. So here's the new document. I'm going to mark it as 2023 and it auto saves it, but I'm just going to close it just because it makes the window easier. Now, when I go to the right here, click on I'll do a right click on this content here you'll see it says update field because this is actually copy and paste it from somewhere else when i update field it's going to go grab the current status of that other file bring it in here and we can see fall 2023 shows up so all i need to do every year is open this document right click on here and it's automatically going to go to that other document pull that data and update it to the everything that's in here one thing i want to show that's kind of cool about all this I'm going to open up this uh, program information document again. If you use styles, heading ones, heading twos, and heading threes, really important. But notice here, I've got heading one, it's blue. My normal text is uh, some kind of sans serif called Seaford, Seaford. But when I bring that data over here, it uses the styles of this new document because this is the master document. Everything else just pulls in. And there we got, it's using the heading one style. It's using a normal style here, which is a, a times or something like that. So it actually respects the fact that this is the styles for this particular document. So I'm just gonna close these documents for now. And what we have here now is a template. I can go in here and make a copy of this. So let's just copy it here. And I'm going to go into this document folder and I'm going to just go hit paste and I'll hit paste again. Whoops. 
well, hang on a second. I'll paste in here. I'll go and call this file one. Paste again. File two or course two, whatever you want to call it. Come on. Rename file two. As soon as I spell it properly, file two. And I'm going to open up file one. Now, there's that information we were talking about before. I just want to right click and I'll show you something. You can toggle the field code. And what that means is where is the source of this? And it's showing me that it's going through the SharePoint site and it's going to this document here. Now, here's a couple of things to understand. It's looking for this file path. So the name of the file cannot change. So you'll notice here, I actually created a, a file here called program info. Do not move or re rename because as soon as you do that, it breaks that link because it's not in the same location. It's not the same name. But if you just are consistent and make sure that stays there, I can move this anywhere in SharePoint and it's going to be able to link in there. So let's open up this document. We're going to do exactly what we did before. I'm going to open up the same document. We're now going to change this to 2024. I'll close this here, close the file. And again, I can do it from the browser if I want. I'm going to switch this back by right clicking on it and we're going to um, toggle the field code, codes. So there's 2023. And remember, this is now file one. This is a wholly brand new file. I'm going to go update the field. And there we are again, totally updated.